Hey everyone, so this is the third video of my woman to woman series. I do apologize that I was not able to crank these out sooner, but it was really busy last month, December, and it's been really busy this month. So this particular video deals with me time. Now girl, I don't care who you are, whether you be a wife, mother, sister, brother, caregiver, or maybe you don't even have any of those roles. I think that it's very important that you carve out me time in your week your day, your month. Personally, I try to get me time every day. I have to have it. Um, and in my opinion, me time does not equal you going into the park, your hair, face, makeup is perfect done, you have a picnic basket, you laying out with a book. If you can do that, girl, great. But me time does not have to be that extravagant, I should say. Um, it doesn't have to be this big production, if that makes sense. So what i wanted to do instead of just getting on cam and reading off a list of suggested me times i wanted to show you guys demonstrate how i incorporate me time in my daily weekly monthly monthly life now just to give you a little bit of background about my personality i am an introvert um i think the biggest misconception when it comes to introverts is that some people think that introverts are shy um or sometimes they can come off as being rude, uh, quiet, they don't like people. That's not what it is. Me personally, I drain, I get drained when I'm around a lot of people. I don't do parties. That doesn't mean I, I won't go. You better invite me so I, I can decline or make an excuse why I can't come. <laughs> we want to feel a part of whatever, you know, group the crowd. Um, but respect our wishes to not stay the entire time to escape when we need to be because it can be draining to be around a lot of people, even if it's just your family. Um, so we crave that alone time. We re-energize by being by ourselves. And so me personally, as an introvert, I have to have time by myself. Um, I do work from home. I do have a bubbly now six year old and a husband who works second shift. So a lot, a lot of the times for me, there is always someone here. Um, thank God my husband is a fellow introvert, so he doesn't really get up in the morning and talk, talk, talk. Uh, yeah, he's not like that. So, so one of the things that helps me is that I have a morning routine. I get up one hour early before anyone else gets up. It's very early and it's really early and it's a sacrifice. I have to go to bed between eight and nine so that I can get up between four and five. I still get enough sleep. Okay. I don't feel tired. Uh, at least not all the time. Um, so, you know, I go to bed early so I can wake up early so that I can have that hour to myself. I oftentimes hear a lot of moms that say, especially with small children, they have no time to themselves. You know, they're not getting enough sleep and that's unfortunate. So my main tip or biggest tip would be to adjust your schedule, adjust your kids schedule if you have to, so that you can have some time to yourself either at night or in the morning. Um, and as I stated earlier, I have a morning routine and with that, in that morning, I don't just sit around and be on social media. Now I do check my, check my social media accounts, but that's not all I do. I pray, I meditate, I read positive affirmation or listen to positive affirmations. Um, I work on my planner, I see what needs to be done. And that's my me time, that's my quiet time. I've been learning to sit in the stillness, which can be very uncomfortable for me. Um, but I've been learning to do that, just sit in the stillness. So that would be my first, um, way of how I get me time, me time is rekindling some hobbies. And, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, I had saw a post from a friend who was basically like, she read, she, she read something like 130 books throughout the year. And I was just thinking, how did she do that? How do you read a hundred? How do you find the time to do that? And so I was looking at, I'm like, okay, Vivian, you, you have to find the time. All those, all that time I'm wasting spending on Instagram and YouTube, I could be picking up a book. So, um, like I said, rekindle those, those hobbies that you used to do, whether it be reading, art, painting, journaling, and find new hobbies, you know? So I'm going to show you guys examples. I purchased all of these books this month. Well, I would say within the past 
two months or so. I am currently reading a Stephen King book, Revival. I'm halfway through it. And then next up will be a Christopher Pike book. So yes, you guys. Um, and then I have books on my Kindle, of course, that I have purchased. purchased. Another example for me are these uh, coloring books that I started on last year. But you know, I you can see here that I started and I stopped because I just didn't find the time to do it. But some of them I did complete. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna start this back up in a couple more couple more weeks maybe. A new hobby that I've started are planning with stickers. Now I've always used planners. I have to, I'm a type A personality. However, I recently discovered, not recently, it's been about three or four months now that you can use stickers with your planners. And so it allows me to be productive um, while also being creative. So I have the happy planner here. And this is just an example of my February month that I have used stickers. Now these stickers, I it's a mixture of stickers that I purchased and that I printed out myself. And I'll show you an example of a week. This is this current week actually. Yes. And then there are planner stickers that you can purchase either through Michael's, a craft shop. I'm pretty sure most of you know about this. Um, and at first when I saw it, I was like, who, who, the, who the hell would do that, girl? But I found that, I, like I said, I could be creative. It's actually something that I can use. Um, and it's something that I do on a weekly basis, okay? Another way for me time, at least what I like, and it's a little, I think it may be a little weird to some of you guys, window shopping. I love window shopping. Now, a lot of the times I'm with my son, but sometimes I go out by myself. Um, it doesn't have to be to the mall. I'll go to uh, like an outdoor strip and I'll just walk, window shop, go throughout the stores. Now, I sometimes don't like going into the stores because then people are going to be talking to me and it's me time. I don't need for you to ask me if I need help, you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but just brought like literally window shopping. If you could get to a park, go to a local park. Um, we have a park in our neighborhood, so that's very convenient for us. Um, I don't do that a lot because I, that's just not my thing. Um, and last but not least, pampering yourself. I so believe in pampering yourself. Whether that means a spa treatment, a bubble bath at home, um, getting your nails done, getting your feet done, do it yourself. If you you know can afford it, do it yourself. You know, look at some YouTube videos, figure out how to do it, do it yourself. Go out to dinner by yourself, which I've done by my, which I've done before. Excuse me. So up next, I'm going to show you how I'm actually going to pamper myself with a bubble bath. I love my bubble, ba bubble baths. I love to soak in some Epsom salt with essential oils. I make my own body scrubs, use a good lotion or oil. Um, and then later on, I'm gonna go get my nails done. Now that was something you guys, I had stopped getting my nails done because I was worried about my budget. I'm like, okay, I need to start saving more money. And then it's a trade off for me personally. That's, that's it's an investment in yourself. That's how you have to look at it. And so every two weeks I go get my nails done. It's $23. my bath earlier today as you saw look at my hair but it was amazing it was amazing it was great I just got back from the nail shop to get my nails done that was great now I have about an hour and some change before I have to go pick up my little boy I'm gonna take that time to relax eat a salad and continue to read my book so that is it you guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any tips comments or suggestions below on how you have me time drop it down below and let me know you guys so that is it thank you so much for watching take care bye